Yomik. No way I do go. And now you're in full. Since I started in Norwegian, I forgot. I apologize. Um, you're the project uh, leader for uh, Marine Harvest. Mm -hmm. And uh, when does the building start on this project? Um, my plan at the moment is to have site activities in January and those site activities would relate to building the rigs. So you need to get all your rigs in place okay. and your traffic uh, management plan for the site. So I'm looking to January. Um, now there's some requirements I need to get through to get that done and so I'm still chasing that up but uh, yeah my plan is still middle January to have some activity on the site. What, uh, you know, obviously you went through a lot of meetings and, you know, discussions in order to decide on that, but what was your criteria for d making the decision to build in Bion Comuna and Vorsnesa? Um, the, when you, when I first visited that site, my immediate reaction was, wow, um, understanding what the infrastructure needs are for my types of business, uh, that was a perfect fit. And then... You, you, what you do is you start off and you say to yourself, okay, we're going to follow this site, but if something comes up that eliminates it, well, that's how it goes. So you, you go through a set of steps, and one of them is, um, you know, how is the local commune? So we went out and we met with the mayor, Tor, and um, we just felt that this was positive all round, and nothing came back on that site to say, don't do it here. And we were looking at other sites at the same time, but... This one stayed the top all the way through, and, and in the end, we just said this is the right place for us. And it works right in with the windmills that are yes, out there. Absolutely, absolutely. yeah, yeah. And, but it, it, it's the marine access yeah, is the most true, important true, thing. True. So, what kind of actual production does this factory? Uh, what kind of food does it produce? It's, uh, it's salmon food, um, which is uh, basically a pelleted food. However, instead of making it in a traditional animal food sense, we use extruders, and extruders. It's the same process as you see for pet food, mm -hmm. uh, the star, you know, the star type shapes and mm -hmm. things. And it's just a lot of pressure through a dye plate uh, to force the feed through under extreme pressure, heat, steam, okay. everything's added in okay. there uh, to cook it. Mm -hmm. And then it's cut off at a certain length. But, um, and the, the length of the, of the size of the pellet is dependent on the salmon's age. Right, so right. Um, we're just planning here to make the four, six and nine millimeter. But okay. that's a, it's a, it's a process that's a, very similar to pet food. Okay, but now with all the crowns or the money that's being invested into this project by Marine Harvest, um, is the commune involved uh, financially with this project also? Um, not as far as finance. And okay. No, this is all uh, self-financed. Okay. Um, no, uh, we're, we're only, um, our interest in the commune is to get the businesses in the commune right. to be a part of the project. Okay. So that's the interest. And then that the commune and ourselves do this as a joint venture, if you like, on, okay. uh, going forward. Okay. I see this as a partnership with the commune. It's not about building a plant and saying, here's a plant, this is it. It's about building a plant and saying, we're part of you, you're part of us. Okay. Let's so it's together. good for both parties. Absolutely. It has to be. So now when, when you have, uh, apparently it's going to take a year and a half or so to build it. Yeah. Okay, so you, you'll be employing local people that are experienced in whatever you're going to employ them at or for. If they can uh, provide the services at the right prices, yes, absolutely. Okay. So all the entrepreneurs are being sent the lists of all of the businesses that are available in the region. Oh, okay. And, and that's been the, the challenge I've been trying to get through now okay. in this early stage is so okay. that all of, the, all of the main suppliers have a list of the local businesses, what they supply and who the contact is. Okay. Um, and I'm going around myself establishing some of those because some of this is post project. So after right. the project, I need certain services. Right. So I'm already trying to get those services in place okay. as well. So now in January, um, you're actually going to be interviewing people for employment? Uh, there will be some small uh, processes going on there. I would say in the, the post project where the real long-term jobs are right. um, which would be the greatest interest to me mm -hmm. uh, those uh, those interviews and that process would start middle middle of the year let's say May June time okay. and that's when I need to look at the team post project who's going to run the factory who's going to be in those production positions and, and the maintenance personnel and all of that mm -hmm. so 
I need to really start looking, let's say June, it would be the time that those interviews would go on. Okay, so say that your project is done now in a year and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, about how, ma how many people do you plan on employing at, at, the site, at that time? At the site, it'll be about 45 to okay. 50. So when it's done, are those same people going to continue their employment um, or are you going to look for new? No, I'm, I, I see that as two separate entities there. Okay. There's the project and there's certain disciplines in there. Mm -hmm. Now some personnel will come from the project, okay. but not all of them. And, and then I need to look at the resources that are available here today. Mm -hmm. And because for me, if there's a resource here, like a mechanic, electrician, that wants to have a permanent job and, and, and has all the criteria, the qualifications, mm -hmm. well, he's my best option. Right. I mean, anybody who's already part of the community is my best option. Okay. And that's what I'm looking for. So okay. um, that'll be about the June time. And they may not work on the project, but that doesn't mean that they can't have a job there post because the post project is completely different to the project. Post project is maintaining the site and producing the feed as we need it. Right. So actually, even though if you don't get in on the entry level or the starting level, it's actually open that they can seek for employment later. Absolutely. You know, project is, is a short term. Right. I'm interested in that part mm -hmm. to get the job done mm -hmm. in 18 months. However, for me, the long term is the bigger right, picture. Right, the bigger picture. Because there's some training that needs to mm -hmm. be done. Right. So that's why I would look from in June, even though the plant doesn't start up for a year after that, I need to get them... Up to, up to speed, trained in this technology, right. and that means education, off-site, you know, on-site, but it needs to be done, and there's okay. a program for that. Okay. And then, um, I understand that you're involved with a lot of different projects, not just this project. You travel quite a bit, I understand. Uh, I do, however, physically, this is the priority, okay. and, and everything else, all the other projects I do is more on a review basis. Um, this is complex and this is where I put the most time in. Okay. Um, so other projects are going on, but I only overlook plans. I don't go to the sites like this. Right. Uh, this is our first feed plant and this okay. is the one I'm going to concentrate on. Okay, so you're going to be an on-site uh, director or yeah, project, pro project, project manager. Yeah, leader, whatever. So you're going to live in Bionkamena. Absolutely, yeah. Be part of the community out here. That's <laughs> nice, I think. Yeah. I'm certainly not going to take up a lot of time um, with you. I realize that you're a very busy man. Um, I thank you very much for being open and taking a few minutes with us. And hopefully we can come back and follow up with you so as the project continues, we can get updates from Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And I'm, uh, I'm working on trying to have a, a web system out there so that the commune can log in and have a look and see how we're going. But I also told people at the meeting on Monday night, if you see me in the street, come over and have a talk. I'm an approachable person. I like people to be interested. I like to explain to them what we're doing. Um, and that's why I'm gonna live here, so that I am part of the community and people can see me and come and have a chat and share a cup of coffee and we'll have a talk. That's great. Right. I appreciate it very much. Thank I you. thank you very, Thanks very a lot. much.